you can use the collapse command in Stata to reduce the dimensionality of your data set. And this command is particularly useful if you have data that is multidimensional, say multiple products by firm or multiple stocks into a mutual fund, multiple properties into a REIT. There are many different dimensions that you might want to smooth out at some point in time. And today I'll tell you how to do this effectively in Stata. So if you head over to the usual auto file, you want to collapse this information for two types of observations, domestic cars and foreign cars. And you just like to get the average of most of the variables, the means of some others, then the added values of variables and the first observations. You can do that using the collapse commands. And then you want to get the sum of the trunk, the weight and the length, the mean of the miles per gallon and the repair records and the say first of the make by foreign. Now, as you can see, I'm using collapse space, the operation that I'd like to take, say sum, which adds up all of the variables, or the mean of everything that comes after that, these two variables, or the first observation of the make. Note that make is a string variable, so you cannot use a mean or a sum because it's not a number. And you can add variables here as many as you'd like, say by foreign or the turn circle of the car. I know the trunk is rather displaced, so let me put the trunk here as well. And now you have your combined data set. So by the trunk and the domestic, I have a summed observation of all of these items. You can also do this with firms and different products or mutual funds and different stocks or real estate and properties. There are many different ways how you can then reduce the dimensionality of your data set. And it's really useful this way. Now, uh, one of the things that I'd like to notice is that you can also just use one item or multiple items, as many as you'd like. And there are multiple things that are in addition to the first one. You can do that by simply pressing the help collapse command and here you see all of the items that you can possibly do with that but i just mentioned a couple of the most commonly used ones so now thank you so much for listening i hope you enjoyed this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and until the next tutorial